Apple did their big event this week where they announced, first of all, the new iPhone 6, the gigantic iPhone 6 Plus, which Apple has made fun of large phones in the past, and now <laughs> they come out with one. Hypocrites. <laughs> and, uh, they, and, and the Apple Watch as well, which you know Samsung has come out with their own Android watches before, but now Apple has one. It's like, oh my god, now it's going to go mainstream. <laughs> as well as Apple Pay, which is... Apple's version of Google Wallet, basically. No one's really mentioned this, but it's basically the same as Google Wallet. You load up your credit card numbers into the app, and it stores them encrypted just on the phone, and the app makes it easy through NFC payments to pay instantly uh, at, at merchants and, I guess, online as well. Pay instantly, pay securely with your credit and debit cards. So, people, you know, people in inevitably c make comparisons to Bitcoin and start speculating, will this kill Bitcoin? Will this help Bitcoin? Uh, you know, how will this impact Bitcoin at all? Uh, I'm of the opinion that Apple Pay and Bitcoin are not competitors at all. They're two totally different systems. I mean, Apple Pay is basically the credit card system in frictionless app form they just make it super super easy to store all your credit card information in one place on your phone um, presumably secure they claim it's secure and you can pay instantly through nfc you know wirelessly at point of sale terminals at merchants um, you know bit uh, that's services like that are being built for bitcoin as well nfc payments I think we talked about before how uh, the, this university in Switzerland mm -hmm. created the NFC payments for Bitcoin. So, you know, not surprising that Apple has made something like this for, for credit cards. It's not surprising at all. A lot of people were, were predicting this. But it's totally different from Bitcoin. Like, it's just, it's just people still using credit cards. It's only people who have credit cards and debit cards who are going to use this. And... Bitcoin is an alternative uh, currency. It's a, it's a decentralized ledger uh, for for keeping track of of wealth. Um, it's totally different. Do, do, what's your opinion on this whole Apple Pay fiasco? I I definitely agree with you. I think what um, I think maybe what some people who are worried about like that if they're worried about Apple Pay competing with Bitcoin. I th I think they that they don't understand that uh this whole Apple Pay thing it's um it's a new payment technology whereas Bitcoin is a monetary technology it's two completely different things um they they're like on two you know completely different levels of of the financial system like yeah. um like mm. Apple Pay makes it easier to use your credit cards um Bitcoin makes it unnecessary to use credit, credit cards, cards and all. fiat currency in general. Yeah. So it's it's really two different things that can't be compared uh, to each other. Uh, like I don't, I, nobody in the Bitcoin community should be worried about this at all because it'd be like, um, you know, if Google released like a prepaid Google card or something, and you could open like a Google bank account or something. Yes. Yeah. That's what it, that's what it would be. It would make like literally no impact on on Bitcoin because it has nothing to do with Bitcoin. Yeah, and and, and you know, like a uh, what was it? Like a month or two ago, you know, Apple started allowing Bitcoin apps and wallets back into the App Store, and they did that because they themselves realized that their own forthcoming Apple Pay product isn't a competitor to Bitcoin. Apple doesn't have to worry about Bitcoin. They can allow Bitcoin apps in the store. You can have an iPhone and have Bitcoin wallets and Apple Pay coexist on the same device. Yeah, if they if Apple thought that um Bitcoin and Apple Pay would would be competing with each other and that there would be a chance that Apple Pay would lose, they wouldn't have unbanned the Bitcoin wallets. Uh like you, like I you know, I didn't think about that. That was actually a pretty good point. Thank you. So so yeah, there's Apple's obviously not threatened by Bitcoin, so why should the Bitcoin community community threatened be threatened by Apple, by Apple Pay? Yeah. Um and and um also Circle 
made an infographic uh, that like made it to the top of the uh, Bitcoin subreddit comparing the two and uh, you know to, to put to rest any worries anybody in the, in the community might have uh, uh, Apple pay is only available to people with with smartphones um, and then they narrowed it again to Apple smartphones, which then they, you know, did some numbers and they determined it was like a few million people on Earth who had access to Apple Pay. Where on the other hand, Bitcoin is available to anybody who has a radio, an FM radio, um, and there's potentially seven billion people who could use Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. um, All you really need to transact on the Bitcoin network is a phone and it doesn't even have to be a smartphone because there's ways to do yep. it through texting now so that's a yep. lot more people yeah you but you can also you can even send it through radio waves uh that was that was a thing that happened a few months ago this guy did like a proof of concept like really rough application where um where he was able to send uh he was able to broadcast the blockchain uh using fm radio waves uh, so that Very you know nice. that was pretty that was pretty interesting, uh, and then just as a side note, um, if I remember correctly, Google Wallet wasn't very successful because there wasn't a, there like there there wasn't a whole lot of NFC point of sale systems available. Exactly. So yeah. So um, supposedly you know, it's going to get more popular now yeah. that Apple has done it. Yeah, so, you know, Apple Pay is kind of in the same predicament um, Bitcoin is in right now. There's, um, you actually have to look for a place to use the technology. In person, so, yeah. So, you know, so Apple Pay, not really a threat to Bitcoin. No, no. And, and, you know, like I said, you can have Bitcoin wallets and Apple Pay on the same device you can even put them right next to each other on the phone you can even put them in the same folder on your phone put so, the shortcuts right next to each other yeah along with paypal and, and all that stuff so like apple pay doesn't even necessarily need to in integrate bitcoin in the future directly into that app because there's other devs who make those apps separately for the ios platform it's no biggie and a actually if if apple pay does encourage more brick and mortar stores to to integrate uh nfc point of sale machines that's fantastic for bitcoin as well because then bitcoin um can can use those at least i hope so as long as it's you know open source nfc technology anyone can can use it for any, any nfc enabled device so in the in the end I think it's it's no it's 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 a great advancement in technology and honestly like this will probably cut down on hacking a lot in the credit card industry because in the past year we've seen all these kinds of ridiculous hacks perpetrated against Target, Home Depot, uh, there's like 10 other stores and merchant chains that have been attacked by hackers who stole cr tons of credit card data and put it up for sale on the dark net and that should uh, get lowered significantly if people are paying with their phones which are uh encrypting their credit card information so that's that's good for people i think it's great for the credit card companies that's why they're uh kicking back uh you know profits back to apple for doing this apple's getting a cut of these sales so it's really it's it's great for everyone all around and the bitcoin community doesn't need to you know attack this thing uh just because just because it's cool to hit on Apple basically <laughs> you know it it's always been kind of cool to hit on Apple but now it's really really awesome to hit on Apple <laughs> so I, I don't know like tone it down a little bit you know keep building on Bitcoin and people if if Bitcoin does become superior with you know brand new features that come out then people will start using it more there's no need to attack Apple for no freaking reason you know I I just realized that there are a lot of stories that happened this week that exploded in the Bitcoin community, and uh, we're just kind of like, eh, not really a big deal. Get yeah. over it, guys. Get over it. 